Hey guys, it's Mr. Reem. Hey, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about how to add colleges to your family connection account and then also how to add them to colleges that you are actually applying to. Remember that this is a required step in your college application process. So please make sure that you follow the directions so that we can make sure to help you as best we can. So here you are at the home page of your family, family connection account. As you can see, I'm logged in as John Doe. This is one of my dummy accounts. Um, and so from here, in order to find a college that you want to add to your list, you can do it several ways. I'm going to show you a few. First, go to the Colleges tab. Once you're on the Colleges tab, you can search for colleges up here in the search box if you know the name. You can look uh, through any of these college options here. So look through the College Search or College Lookup. Uh, one of the most powerful tools that you have access to is the Super Match Me College Search. And you can search, narrow down your search by any uh, one of these categories. Um, Say, for example, I wanted to add Chicago University, uh, or University of Chicago, sorry. So I wanted to add that to my list of schools I'm thinking about applying to. One way, that, the easiest way to do that is when you find it, there's this little Add to List button. All you have to do is click that, and it says it's added to your list. From there, to access your list of colleges you're actually thinking about, click back on the Colleges tab to go back to this page. Click on the Colleges I'm Thinking About tab. And as you can see, I've already added two other schools, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and Montana State. And then you can see this University of Chicago shows up here. Some nice things that you can note. One is the delivery type. You can see the different uh, icons here. One is a computer, so that means it's got an online application. And this one here has a CA. So that means that school is a common app school. So with that, that means you can do a couple different things that we'll get into in a later tutorial. So how do we take a college that we are thinking about and turn it into a college we're actually applying to? The easiest way to do this is I want to apply to Montana State. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight Montana State by clicking the box. I'm going to click Move to Application List. Select what type of application I'm, I am uh, going to be applying on. For Montana State, it's a rolling application. Submit one of these tech check boxes if you have done any of these steps. So from you have submitted your application or if you're just going to begin the application process. If you've requested a transcript, if you've included any of your SAT, ACT scores, and then all you have to do is once you have those clicked and selected, click Add Applications. And from there, it's no longer in your Colleges I'm Thinking About tab. It now will go into your Colleges I'm Applying To tab. And then once you actually log in, you connect. Uh, you can connect your Common App account if you are applying via Common App. Other than that, it's down below um, here. If you if you have no intention of applying to any Common App school, please click this Not Needed. Otherwise, you'll need to create a Common App account first, and then come back here and uh, enter the email that you use and connect it with your Common App app uh, Common App account using your email and the password that you had set up with the Common App. For tutorials on that, you can also check out the other video that I posted to YouTube regarding connecting Navians and Common App. Once you're here and you see the, com the, the uh, applications that you are working on, you can update it by clicking Edit. You can enter a deadline if you know one. Rolling doesn't really have one, but if you know a final deadline, you can add that. As you get results in, it's highly suggested and, and I would almost say required that you please update me on your status. So were you accepted? Were you denied? Uh, were you conditionally accepted? Some schools do that. Um, or did you withdraw? Or you know, did you not even finish the application? Or if you were waitlisted or deferred, you can also click those. That will not only help me uh, keep track of your status, it'll help you keep, keep track of your status too. Um, so please keep these updated. And then also you can update how, you know, if this is your first choice, second choice. All this information is helpful to me as I'm helping you. And then also helpful to future students down the road. All this data is collected anonymously and added to, to information uh, without any uh, features of you. Uh, it won't add information if, you know, one student is not accepted to certain schools. You can't figure it out. You can't backtrack to see who it was. But it help, it's helpful for people that are researching schools to see kind of what type of student is admitted and how many students we have at different schools. So please keep this updated. As you're finishing up, all you need to do is, uh, once you've been accepted and this is my final decision, just go down here to the colleges I'm attending, 
click on the one that you've been accepted to, the one you're deciding, click that and click update. And from there, that's all you got to do. And congratulations on being accepted to Montana State University.